So now let's see how we can work around with text inside of Pixlr E. So on the left side, you can see that there's this tool pane and over here, T is an option which uh, denotes the text tool. If I were to go around over here and click on this T, then there you go, you got the text tool and you have an option to add a text. So you can click anywhere over here and it says, do you want to add a new text layer? So I'm just going to say add and then there you go, there's the, this text right there. So I can go around and say, hello there, just like this and there's the text. So I can select this text out and then I can go into the font, choose the font I want from the uh, drop down menu that I have right here. So let's say, for example, if I were to go around right here, select this, go to, let's say, for example, this one right here, then you can see that the text changes out according to what we selected. So let me just go around into Arial and select the fill color right here onto white. And this is what you have. You can go around into the size and increase and decrease the size out over here. You can move around the text wherever you want, click and drag it out, or you can rotate this out as well. And then over here, you can see format is an option. So I can go around over here, increase and decrease the line spacing right here, just like this, increase the letter spacing, center align it, left align it, right align it, and change it into total uppercase, italicize it or bold it out over here. So I can go around onto this option as well. So over here, there's different styles, like you can go around and then work around with the curves, as you can see, and then you can spread it out all together right here or flip it out as well. Similarly, you can see the background, you can turn on the background. So for that, I'm just going to go around and then let's say, for example, resize this out right here. So once I do this, this is what you have. Then you got the style, you got the background, as you can see, and then you can change the background color as well, according to what you like. You can work around with the punch out, which creates a hole on the text area. You can spread it out, you can flip it as well. So there's punch out, there's offset, which allows you to change around uh, the offset of this. You can go around onto this one, as you can see, and then on the offset, you can change around the offset of the distance right here. You can go around into line, you can go to word right here, and then you get, get different effects accordingly, as you can see. You can work around with the outline as well. So I'm just going to go around and let's say, for example, uh, use uh, nothing, no curve, or maybe no background right here. This is what you have. So now if I were to go around over here onto outline, you can select the color of the outline and there you go. There's the outline. You can go around into punch, punch out and there you go. You got the, got the text only in the outline. You can go around with the size right here. You can go around with the distance right here, increase and decrease the distance. And that is what you have. You can go around with the direction as well and enable the shadows of the text as well. So I can go around right here, select dark, text right here and there you go there's the dark shadow or you can go for a bright shadow right there you can work around with its distance you can work around with the blur level decrease the blur increase the blur and you can go around with the direction as well and change it out you can increase and decrease the opacity of the shadow as well and that is how you can work around with the text so you can go around add a new text layer and then work around with this as well you can go around over here onto edit mode right there and then edit the text or you can go over here and click on edit as well. So you can go around over here and click on duplicate and this is what you have. Click on duplicate and you have another duplicate. And as you create duplicates of the text, you can see that new layers are made up. You can go around into the dustbin and click on delete as well. And that is how you can work around with the text inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.